Thank you, everybody. Uh, you know the pro protocol. Let's go ahead and get started with. Yeah, thanks, Mauricio. Uh, hi, Diego. Um, just the way that the first half transpired, I guess it seemed like you were taking on a, a lot of responsibility up top, uh, you know, did well with it. I guess getting to halftime, you know, did you feel pretty good and did you feel like you guys were going to be able to get it to a point there where, where the guys were going to come on and, and you know, uh, obviously help push it over the line there? Mauricio, he's muted. Yeah, Diego's on mute, Mauricio. Uh, he knows one second, please. There you go. There you yes, go. Yes. Thank you. No, I felt good. Um, it was one of those things that it's tough. I was trying to create something for our team, trying to create chances. Um, but it was moments in the game where you look up and we didn't have the, the numbers up there. Um, so it's tough. Um, at the When we go to halftime, we, we're, we, need to, we need to be – we need to come out better, uh, stronger, and everybody needs to be ready because – as soon as one goal goes in, it's it's hard for us to come back in. Um, but like always, our team fought. Um, not the way we wanted to leave here, especially with the support that we had. Um, but we have to we have to stick together and grow as a team and make sure that we when we go back home and we play next game and um, away, we're gonna we're gonna be better. Yeah, and I guess Diego. I mean, a lot of the conversation <laughs> has been about the, the lineup here, but you know, you were one of those guys that started on Wednesday night and I think, and, and again tonight, um, is it reasonable to expect that more of the, the starters that we saw Wednesday and, and a good performance uh, would have started tonight in your, in your mind? I, I mean, I guess what's the mood around the group uh, around that, that sort of decisions that were made to look at the end of the day, coach has the, the right to make decisions and um, we just have to go with it. Um, he asked around this week how we were feeling and, um, I think he put the team that he thought we could win the game with. Um, we were trying to we were trying to stay in the game and then bring in the, the power at the end to try to help us. Um, didn't really work out that way, so we just have to move on. It's we, we're gonna we're gonna all make mistakes. We're all gonna learn from this. Um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who's on the field. We need to. Everybody needs to step up and perform. Um, they, if your name is called, then that means they want you to do your job and do everything you can for the team. So it doesn't matter who's up there. I think we, we just all have to grow as a team and make sure that we, um, we're getting points. Mike Craven followed by Jorge Durrelli. Hey Diego, it, you know, it feels like this team has a really good performance and then it kind of goes backwards a little bit. A really good performance kind of goes backwards. In your, uh, you know, your experience, you know, you've been around 10 years, kind of what is it about teams that can start to string that together and maybe what do y'all need to kind of work on or figure out to kind of start stringing those performances back to back to back? To be honest, I think we're performing uh, really good. I think, uh, I think our points and our results are not showing, but at the end of the day, I think we play good soccer. We play, we, we, we're battling every game. It's not like we're getting crushed in any of the games. So <clears throat> other than that, um, everybody needs to just step it up one notch, whatever it takes. And um, these rivalry games are the ones that we, we, we need. We, we, we're, we should be hungry for. And we were hungry on Wednesday. We were hungry today. Could we got one early today and maybe everything changes? Yeah. But um, when when a team scores, it's 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 hard to come back into the game, especially when they're home and they sit back a little bit and they try to get you in the counter. Um, it's tough. Um, there's no excuses. I think we just need to be better, and everybody needs to look at each other and say, "Hey, we need to stick together." And no matter what happens, we're, we're going to go out there and battle. Um, sometimes the, the ugly games are the ones that you win. Um, when you play good soccer, sometimes you don't always win games, um, and that's what everyone needs to understand that. And we just have to go out there and battle. And if we play good soccer, we'll play good soccer. And if we don't, at least compete, battle, and let's get results. Have you been happy? Have you been happy with the way everybody's kind of stuck together and kept positivity in the locker room? Yeah, I, of course. Um, that's the one thing that we we all have to stick together. It doesn't matter. As soon as you start blaming people, as soon as you start turning your back, that's when teams do bad. Um, at the end of the day, they, this this team, we've never done that. We've sticking together. We. We've uh, we've tried to do everything we can, and um, it, it's it's showing. But we still need more. We still need to improve more. We still need to learn more. And um, like I said, sometimes we need to play that ugly soccer, but still get results. 
Jorge Turralde, followed by John Lugo, and we'll wrap it up with Mark Turner. Uh, hola, Diego. Una pre pregunta, dos preguntas bien rapidísimas. Eh, la primera, ¿por qué crees que haya tanto cambio entre un juego y otro? Un juego espectacular y un juego como desangelado. Esa es la número uno. Y la otra, ¿qué pensaste cuando tu, tu disparo pegó en el poste? No, los cambios, los técnicos van a tener que hacer cambios ellos. Eh, creo que cada uno, hay jugadores capaz que estaban cansados, hay jugadores capaz que están tocados. Eh, eso es decisión del técnico. Eh, pero como todo, no importa quién está en la cancha, tenemos que, que jugar el partido de nosotros y cada uno tiene que hacer su trabajo. Eh, yo jugué no, eh, juego todos los partidos y hoy tuve, tuve que venir, jugar. Eh, es parte del trabajo de nosotros, tenemos que estar preparados para eso y no importa quién esté. Eh, si querés un puesto en este equipo hay que pelear, hay que hacer todo lo que podamos para ayudar al equipo y tratar de, de agarrar más puntos como dije, a veces hay que jugar un partido feo y, y competir y pelear y, y tratar de ganar los partidos y más estos, porque nosotros queremos ser el mejor equipo en Texas y, y si no ganamos estos partidos no, no se puede decir eso eh, y la otra, cuando, cuando ya había el tiro libre, yo estaba confiado que le, lo podía patear Siempre es el lugar donde me gusta a mí y tuve mala suerte que me pegan el travesaño justo, pero como todo, eh, se platica esas cosas y siempre van a pasar y, y motivado para seguir, seguir tratando de hacer lo que pueda para ayudar para el equipo. Gracias. Go ahead, John. Oh, okay, thank you, Mauricio. Uh, Diego, we saw Sebastian come on tonight and I know you guys want to stay in the present, but knowing the type of talent he has, and once you get him acclimated with yourself and Tomas, and I know Musa will be here, you know, in, in pretty short time. Do you, do you feel like you're excited to see what Sebastian and Musa can provide for the future, especially since you guys have had trouble scoring goals and they're attacking players that can probably help that? No, of course. I think we're always excited no matter who comes, especially when you have a goal scorer like him. He, he's going to come in today. You saw him trying to make plays happen. Um, and that's what we want. We need someone to be hungry for goals. Um, <laughs> there's a bunch of us that are hungry for goals, but at the same time, we're, we're not getting them. So um, we're going to be working hard every day. We're going to be doing shooting drills. We're going to be doing finishing drills. And we, we, we finish well. Um, but now can someone step up and make that play happen? Today we had one in the first half. If we finish that chance, then the game changes. If I hit didn't hit the crossbar and it goes in, the game changes. It's It's little things like that that change the game. And it's frustrating because you see all these fans come out here three and a half hours and they show their support. They're, you can hear them in the stadium. And to leave without a result, it, it hurts us. Um, and, I, and I hope they know that because um, we're no, no one's happy leaving here without a result. Uh, we all want to leave with this three-hour bus ride home uh, happy. But at the same time, now we need to uh, think about things that we – how can we get better as a team and what is it going to take for – for Saturday. Um, so it's, it's a learning process and don't get me wrong. We haven't been with each other for that long, but it gets to a point where everybody needs to step it up a notch. Mark, take it home. Hey Diego, you just mentioned the free kick that ran the crossbar, beautiful free kick. We haven't seen you take free kicks this year because Cecilio and Toto have been taking them. So did you enjoy that responsibility this evening? And Talk us through that free kick. Did you think it was in, but it left your foot? To be honest, when I shot it, yeah, I thought it was going in. Um, it's, 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 it's a tough one. Um, I've taken free kicks before in New England. I've scored a bunch of them, so um, I know I can do it. Um, sometimes when the guys aren't on the field, I just don't even bother going over there. But um, I know my name is in there, and it, when my responsibility comes to take them, then I'll, I'll take them. I don't have an issue with that. Um, it's a lot of practice, and then I do it all the time, so... It's a natural feeling that I have, and hopefully I wish this one would have gone in and I would have felt a lot better. 